Welcome to 5 Minute Food Review. I'm your host Joe and we're in Bueno Park, California at Knott's Berry Farm for their Taste of Merry Farm. Let's go inside and sample some food. Oh, I Merry Christmas. I love that, my dear. Cheers. I am the ghost of Christmas presents. Well, here we are. We're finally grabbing our uh, our first meal while we're here. Uh, we're going to sample 10 different items. And right now on this agenda, oh, I want you to see my pretty face. Oh, you, Joey's kind of cute too. Uh, this is a pineapple cider. Let's give this a try. Hmm. I'm not digging it. It has a hint of pineapple. Of course, it's got that bu bubbly uh, taste to it. Okay. That, that'd be a no for me if I came back. I, I wouldn't try that again. But now we have a... Trying to wait for the wife over here. Full pork mac and cheese. Full pork mac and cheese. All right. That's not bad. That's kind of good. Hello, mac and cheese, full pork. Full pork. It's all on the sweet side. But there's not much to tell. You know what mac and cheese is, you know what pulled pork is. Uh, like I said, the sauce is a little sweet. Got a little breadcrumbs, a little crunchies there on it. Let's try the mac and cheese by itself. Mac and cheese is pretty generic. Almost tastes like a, the blue box. Now let's give uh, the pulled pork done by itself. Not bad. A little saucier than I would like myself, but the two combined, it's pretty good. Joe's having a good time over here. Joe, you want to say hi to everybody? Okay, there we go. Joey said he wants to give his review of the mac and cheese. Now he's a connoisseur of mac and cheese. <laughs> so, Joey, there you go. There you go. See, kid likes all the mac and cheese. <laughs> Let's get on to the next one. Wow, that was a really long walk to the next food stand. Actually, not really. It was just right on the other side of this bench here. And we have the green bean fries. And I believe the dipping, <laughs> dipping sauce is just uh, some gravy. Mushroom. Mushroom gravy, matter of fact. That's what it is. That's what it looks like. Let's just try it without the gravy first. I like green beans, especially if I'm having a nice ribeye. Oh, they're delicious. Let's go for the gravy. Not bad. With the gravy. That is pretty good. That's a lot though. They're actually giving you quite a bit of food. Uh, <laughs> it's just five items you'll be full you might be full after the second or third one i know that unless you got a drink oh yeah these are delicious and these are not bad these are worth trying definitely a thumbs up definitely worth worth a worth a try so before we take off joey said he wants to give this a try
He, he's giving it a thumbs up. He's never eaten green beans before. See how long it takes before he wants to spit it out. That was really good. It was. Wow. So Joey good. likes it. Well, Joey, let's head on to our next food sampling. <laughs> His water for. <laughs> Wow, that is, that is some hiking over to the next food stand. It wasn't too far, but we have an acai bowl. Ooh, look at that with Nutella in it. Okay, I know what you're thinking. Well, what does it taste like? No, yeah, pretty good. Mm. That's a nice tasty treat. Taste the Nutella. Taste the acai blueberry. Mm. Got some boysenberries in it. Raspberries. Looks like some cranberries too. Let me take you over here to Joey. He wants to tell you what he thinks of it. Whoa. Me here. Joey, I'm gonna try to say, is where'd it go? Where'd go? Where'd that go? Well, <laughs> tell me, what do you think of it? Good. <laughs> That's good. Mm -hmm. Well, it don't look like you got any acai there. It looks like mm -hmm. you got all Nutella. Mm -hmm. Well, he's giving it thumbs up. At least he's giving the Nutella a thumbs up. What do you think of the other stuff, like the raspberries and the blueberries? Ooh. I first want to lick this off. I don't understand that one, but I hope you do. That's pretty good? Mm -hmm. Oh, there you go. Joey gives a thumbs up. He likes it. Looks like we might be here a few minutes. So stay tuned. We'll be back with some more food. Time for a snack. We're gonna have a cookie witch. It's strawberry filled, strawberry filled, strawberry soft serve ice cream with a white chocolate raspberry. White chocolate raspberry cookie. And there's Joey. <laughs> Come on over here, buddy. <gasps> oh, hey. Oh, oh you're welcome, Butsy. You know what? Let's let, let's give Joey the the uh, inaugural try. I'm freezing. <laughs> Let's try that again. Oh, you got a little bite out of it. What do you think? Is that pretty good? Is that good? Oh, there, well, there was a, yeah, there you go. Thumbs up. Let them see those thumbs. You took a massive bite. You took a massive oh, bite, yeah. Daddy. That thumbs up. That's pretty good. I, but you took a massive <laughs> bite. <laughs> yeah, I took a massive bite. Uh, oh, that I want to give that mm -hmm. to mommy. Uh, this is good. Cookie's a little soft. The uh, ice cream's delicious. Of course, it's soft serve. I give it to mommy. And uh, well, I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give away the food. Uh, strawberry soft serve, and I love strawberry. One of my favorite type uh, flavor of ice cream. <laughs> but th this is pretty good. If you do come, this should be on your must oh, must list. This this is a must try. 
Mm. Uh, I was going to ask for mommy. Mommy, what do you think? We're going to go sample some more food. <laughs> I think it was that pineapple cider from earlier. Got to sample some more food. We're in the Fiesta Village area, and I decided to get some empanadas. Now, I remember empanadas. My grandfather was from Chile, and he uh, would make homemade empanadas. Uh, depending on what country you come from, depends on what's inside the empanada. Since this area is mostly, I want to say, it's Mexican food, or something like Mexican food, because some people will tell you in certain parts of the U.S. or let's go to Taco Bell and get some Mexican food. That ain't Mexican food. I tell you that now. But let's give these uh, empanadas a try because they smell delicious. Oh, and they got to give us some salsa to go with it. But let's uh, let's just dive in right away. first without the salsa. See what this is like. Of course, the empanadas are usually a, a nice flaky. Dough. It's either baked or fried, uh, depending on the uh, country you come from. Sometimes they do both. My grandfather used to bake his; they were delicious. So this is just the dough part. So far, so good. Now for this empanada, it's a beef filling. That's all it says. It doesn't give you any real description of what else is in there other than just the beef. Let's find out. Me! <laughs> well, it looks like there's some onions. Um, That's the bread. Some, uh, probably some peppers some kind it's not real spi it's not really spicy it's not bad it's tasty it's tasty let's try some of that salsa they have here now when it comes to salsa oh I'm a connoisseur of good salsa I kid you not Well, there's the grease coming out. Well, the salsa's okay. Need some jar brand salsa. And I tell you right now, that uh, paste salsa, that's horrible. If you ever had paste, that, you know what? If you buy paste, that don't waste, you know what? Just don't waste your money on it. It's not worth it. But this one's okay for some uh, theme park salsa. I do see some uh, red peppers in there. Not bad, it's kind of tasty. Nice little meal in between snack, some of your other sweet snacks you might be eating if you do come and try. But, mm. One more. That's thumbs up for being okay. But, um, this wouldn't be something I would get if it was on the menu regularly during regular uh, non-seasonal items like this. But another item, not too bad. If you like empanadas and you like uh, Mexican food or any uh, other type of Hispanic uh, cuisine, give this one a try. I'll see you at the next uh, food stop. <laughs> Oh, here we 
we are. Try some more food. That's what you do here. Because that's all we've been doing is eating. And I got my buddy back here with me. Say hi, Joey. Okay, okay, calm down. Gets a little excited. But we have a uh, tater tots with turkey, gravy, stuffing, and cranberry sauce. I'm, I'm kind of full, but I guess I still need some more. Let's kind of go with the uh, turkey and the stuffing and see what that tastes like. Pretty generic. It's not knock out the park great. Plus, it's not. If you knocked it out of the park, you just go into the streets. Meaning the park's not very big. But here we go. I got some uh, tater tot, some turkey, some hash brown, and a little cranberry sauce, and some gravy. It's okay. This is a pass. Skip it. Try something else you might like. But let's see if Joey likes this. Not with like the sauce. Not with the sauce. Not with the sauce. I gotta take the hand off there. There's no, there's no more sauce on there. There's no sauce on there. You either put it in your mouth or you don't get none at all. There he goes. I don't care for this one. Wish I'd have got something else, but... I don't know, did you, did you like that tater tot? He crawling on the table. <laughs> Just gonna give his review. <laughs> Alright, buddy. Come on, let's sit down. I got this! Oh yeah, that's the, that, that's it. That's the card. If I didn't... This is the ones for the kids. It's a different color than it is... <laughs> than it is for the adults. This For the kids is green. The kids get to choose three uh, items off of the menu. This is the one for the adults. Uh, you can pick five off of the uh, off of the list here. It's got a little cue, reading, cue re reader right there that tells you, uh, you scan that and it deducts how many uh, items you have left on your card. So, and my little clown here next to me. Love him dearly. Yes, I do. <laughs> so, um, I apologize you didn't explain the card at the beginning, so I apologize for that. <laughs> so there's... <laughs> each area not... Joey, please stop. Each area not is represented on the card. Uh, has Every spot that has serving food will tell you what that spot is serving. Uh, there are some that have multiple of the multiple food items are at different locations. So uh, if there's something you want to try and you see both of them at one location, you don't have to walk all the way across the other park to go get that one item. Uh, like desserts and some of the beverages you can find at some of the most same, not all the same spots. Ooh, excuse me. I apologize on that one. So, uh, come on down. Have a good time. Bring the family. Uh, walk around. Enjoy the sights and sounds. And take plenty of pictures. Uh, excuse us. Can we, co can, we, can we cover our mouth when we cough, please? Like this. You know, we go like that. <laughs> but, uh, this, this is, so far, this is fun. we got a few more items to try. And uh, like we'll more. be back with some more. Why <laughs> eat one more? Oh, no. I feel like we got a dozen. Yeah, I was like, wow, dozen! More food to eat. Uh, I got the ham and uh, potato au gratin. This is almost a meal in itself. And for a little bit of a dessert, I got the eggnog brulee with the sugar cookie. So let me sample a little bit of this and then I'll sample some of the dessert. But the ham smells delicious. I love ham, especially this time of the season. It goes well with, you know, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Mm 
pretty good. Tastes like a ham you'd make at home or you'd get anywhere else at anybody else's home cooking. And here comes my buddy. Because he can't pass up being on the camera. Well, Joey, would you like to try a little ham? Yeah. Mm, that's some good ham. <laughs> he says that now. I've seen him before. He tries something and later he's like, mm. <laughs> Let's uh, try some of these potatoes. I don't like potatoes. <laughs> he likes potatoes as long as they're french fry. No, I don't like potatoes. Okay, we heard you. These are not bad. Hey, what is this brown bean? That's butter. This I put it right on the table for oh, you. Oh, thank you very Frenchy. much. That was very kind of you, sir. <laughs> this is pretty good. These are tasty. Please do not do that. But, um, yeah, the potatoes are rotten. They're delicious. Are, are good. And can you please sit down? Turn right down. So, now, not to keep you waiting, because I know you're dying to see what this eggnog boulet tastes like. And I want to tell you because, not that I'm a connoisseur, it's just, I like boulet. It's very good. Well, it's got a nice, hard, crunchy top, like a boulet should, because uh, it's got sugar. Oh, look at that. A custard. Somebody's eyeballing my brulee. It's creamy. It's got that country sh sugar crust on it. I think the eggnog's not really coming through. It's very light. It's not bad. I would skip this though, because it's not a real strong eggnog -y taste. I don't think that's a word, eggnog -y. But uh, let's see if it enhances it with the sugar cookie. No. No. It doesn't. I want to try the sugar cookie. You um, want to try the sugar cookie? Look, sprinkles and that. Oh, you want to try the sprinkle side, huh? Okay, take a bite. Take a small bite. Look at that big bite. You think it's Jaws that was at the table. <laughs> got a little bite. A little bite. Look, just don't take off my finger. Leave some for mommy, okay? How's that? Bing! <laughs> Bing! All right, all right. Uh, you want to go to the other side and sit with mommy and enjoy some of the brulee? Okay. All right. See you later, buddy. We'll see you at the next uh, food tasting. But uh, the ham and the scallop is pretty good. Uh, the ham is pretty generic tasting wise. So if you like ham, that pretty much tastes like most. Almost similar to a ham that you might get at a store, like a pre made ham. But uh, I think this is pretty tasty for what it is at a theme park it's pretty good so i'm gonna try to finish eating this or at least share some with the wife oh wait a minute the wife has her review of the eggnog brulee yep there you go just like i said pass on it. it's not a real strong eggnog flavor pretty mild uh, it's creamy but it just the flavors don't come through so stay tuned we got more to come I got me some chicken wings and uh, what are these chicken wings Spicy cranberry pomegranate. Spicy cranberry pomegranate wings. Let's get a picture of those. Because people might want to see them. Yay! 
<laughs> well, let's uh, dig in because I, I like wings. Who does? I mean, most people do. Oh, there we go. Mm. I don't think I'm feeling these. These these might not be not might not be a hit. No, they, these are not a hit. These these are just. Oh man, I wish I could take them back. No, maybe the wife want to try because there's nothing spicy about them. I don't know. I just the flavor just doesn't seem right. Uh, you can taste the you can taste all the, the ingredients in them overall. A little more like the wife to see what she thinks. But I think overall they. They just, the flavors don't mesh very well. Uh oh, here comes her opinion. Well, it looks like she's going for a more more of a no than a maybe. So that that's that's uh that, that's a lot of thumbs down over in this table between the two of us. And there's Joey giving me some water so I can wash out that bad taste. So we have one more to try, and if we use Joey's card, we'll have. A, three more to try because he has two left on this card. So, stay tuned. Well, here we are. Still sitting at the same table, still trying some more food. But ah, look at that. This is what? I gotta get my uh, narrator over here. Maple breakfast sausage dog. Maple breakfast sausage dog. And here comes my sidekick. Look at that smile on him. He's already got thumbs up. He's ready to try it. Uh, now this is it, and it comes with a little dipping sauce, which is maple. I don't know if you really can see that all that well. Like the two sausage. Two, two, two sausage, okay. Sausage. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's. Dipped it in some of that maple, and please do not put your finger in my face. I did. I just gave it thumbs up to you. Oh, steamy, but beamy. That is breakfast right there. Pancake and sausage and maple syrup. That is breakfast. So far, this is probably one of the tastiest items. I have tried. Uh -huh. Now just sit here, okay? So we're gonna give let Joey give this a try. Just a little syrup. I don't want syrup. Oh, he don't want no syrup. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I'll eat that part. Oh, he don't get the syrup. Take a bite. Did you get some sausage? No. No? Here, try that side. There you go, he likes it. Breakfast, sausage, pancake, come on. <laughs> Two things all kids love. I think he's getting his water. <laughs> all right, we're gonna pass this. Woo, we're gonna pass this to the wife. <laughs> See what the wife thinks of this one. Ooh, I don't know if that was a good ooh or a bad ooh. I think she's dripping syrup all over herself. Oh, there it is. Thumbs up. There we go. There, there, there's another item she finally... There's an item she finally started to... She actually likes. But uh, we only got a couple more items to try. But uh, right now, it's uh, the sun's starting to set. And they're going to do a tree lighting ceremony. Hopefully, we can get over there and watch it. Uh, if it does happen, I'll, I'll share it with you guys right here. So, catch you in a few. Shine brightly within our hearts. Wow, 
Wow, that was one beautiful tree lighting ceremony. Uh, I really enjoyed that, family really enjoyed it. But uh, we have two, two more items to try. So uh, <laughs> let's go grab those items and uh, get chowing down and call it a night. It's time for dessert. We have a chocolate peppermint cheesecake bar with peppermint bark. I don't know if you can see that, it looks delicious. Uh, I, I'm not, I wanna give this sucker a try. Joey's gonna give it a try too, cause I know, I know what he's gonna try. That's pretty good. That's tasty. Most times, uh, can't always fail on a dessert, but, but you, you, you never know though. That, that eggnog brulee wasn't the best. This makes up for that. I know that right now. Well, Joey, uh, what do you give it? I'm not ready. I don't know, but he got a big bite there. Wow, that was a big bite. You didn't even see that, did you? I apologize. Had my hand in the way. There he goes. Thumbs up. Joey gives a thumbs up. Then the wife gives a thumbs up. There he goes. And a third. Three thumbs up for the chocolate peppermint swirl cheese cake. <laughs> Bark. I messed it all up. <laughs> that was pretty good. Save one your tickets. Uh, for that one if you like cheesecake and you like peppermint it's a good combination it's creamy the uh, crust is a chocolate uh, like an oreo crust uh, and the peppermint and i don't know i see the white biting on it it's like she's gnawing on it like it's a dog bone <laughs> dog bones oh a little hard like it just got out of the refrigerator i freezer. want to eat that you want to eat that here look i got a little piece right here for you take off my finger. He's known for taking off my finger. Anything minty he likes. But uh, hopefully we get one more item in before we walk out these gates on our way home. Stay tuned. food tasting. I'll be honest with you, it's his. It's just chicken tenders over here from the Grizzly oh, Creek Lodge. Yeah, him and mom is going to eat it. Joey, let me see. It's kind of hot. I just took the bite out of it so it can pull out. Well, <laughs> Yeah, it's a little steamy there for him. Sometimes the temperature-wise, a little hot for him when it hits his tongue, but these are just probably like frozen Tyson I chicken tenders. A, you heard a, a, a bubble pop? I, I did too, I heard a bubble pop. So these are just probably just like the frozen chicken tenders that you get from like Tyson or whatever other uh, brand that they that might make them. And it's just french fries. Pretty much kids stuff here for the last one. So, you know, for kids, it's a thumbs up. All right, look at that. Let's see if I cool this down a little for them. Wanna try? <laughs> takes out, almost takes out my finger. He likes it. Thumbs up. Wow, man. This, 
almost stuck his thumb up my nose. But that's nice. Uh, <laughs> it has been one fun-filled day here at Knott's Taste of Mary Farm. Well, I had a lot to eat, a lot to see. Uh, I got to see the tree light up. Uh, this is this is a very fun event for family. Uh, bring your family, bring your friends. Uh, get yourself a ticket and sample the food. Uh, the, por the portions are big enough for people to share in your group. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. But uh, the portions are big enough for the uh, to share within the group. Uh, that's if you don't mind sharing. Uh, there's a lot to try. There's a lot to uh, savor. And uh, stay till the lights come on, especially here in Camp Snoopy. Uh, it, it's it's beautiful. The lights are all the lights are twinkling, shining. R really, 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 it's beautiful. It is gorgeous right now with all the lights in Camp Snoopy, and even throughout the park too. So if you, if this is kind of stuff you like to take your family or friends uh, to. Uh, gather them around and come on down uh, check the dates most of the dates are sold out this lasts is till uh, I think till June June 6 uh, I'm over my wife I didn't get a response so I'm thinking it's, it's run the last probably the last the first weekend of June and then this event ends so uh, thanks you know what Joey what do we say what do we say at the end thanks for watching hit the bell button and Joey's food review. <laughs> well, like he said, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe. We we really love love it when you do. And uh, like, share, comment, and uh, hit that bell for updates. We'll catch you guys later. Bye.